Greetings, salutations, it's me, James, your BA Sensei, back with another Power Query tutorial. In today's video, we're gonna take various stock portfolios, you can see this data set over here, and we're gonna allow the user to specify the column order in a little table like this, and when they press refresh, it basically sorts the data according to what the user specifies over here. And then if there's no number indicated here, it just basically does it alphabetically. Well, let me show you how to do it. All right, so the first thing you do is you select your data set and you go to data and you say from table or range. This opens Power Query. So now you have Power Query open over here. Glorious. So the next thing we're gonna do is let's just call this columns, All right? And we can take out this change type. And let's quickly say add a column here. Let's say table column names. This will actually give us all the column names for this table. There you go. And it returns a list. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say home and close and load. This loads the data back into Excel. Now I'll just add another column over here. Let's say order. Okay. Let's say we want to, the user needs to specify portfolio name is first. Let's say portfolio date second. That's uh, this one third and then fourth and the rest can be often numeric. So we take this data over here, which is the output of this columns table. You click there and you say data and from table or range and you pull it back into Power Query. So you basically now have columns running twice through Power Query and let's call this the column order. Okay, so now we want to sort basically according to this order, but you can see these nulls. If this is blank, what we want to do is you can select there and we can say replace the values. If it is a null, make it a big number, something like 999, all right? Say all right. And now we can say, right click there and say sort ascending. But now it will basically sort according to the order there. If there's no order specified, these should be alphabetic. So what you can do is you can see the M query that we created there is at the top over there. Okay, so you can just, at the end there, add a comma and a curly bracket and say, for the column, columns, uh, sort by order ascending. Basically, we first sort by order, and if the order is the same, then we use the columns as the second sort criteria. And there you go. You can see this is now alphabetically when the numbers are the same. All right, so now let's take the columns. I'm just gonna say duplicate, and I'm gonna say make this data, and I'm gonna take off this custom over there, and this is our original data set. <laughs> All right, so if we wanted to sort this, you can just basically drag and drop your fields over there. You can see it creates this little, this little function of, it uses the function called table reorder columns, referring to the table and then specifying, hard coding the order. Okay, so what we can do is, we can just, instead of doing that, we can just refer directly to column order, which is already alphabetic and numeric. All right, so now what we do is, we take all of this data out and we simply say, column order and then in brackets we say columns which is the name of the columns over there and we say okay here we go that's basically that and now we can say close and load to we want to bring that back as a table to a new workbook yes so it's bringing it back over there so here we go portfolio name is first if we look at the column order portfolio name is first but let's say for instance Let's say, for instance, we want to. It's going to change this quickly. Let's say I want the uh, reported by uh, first, uh, the I two, and I want portfolio name three, stocks four, and then the value five, right? And I want to look at my data, so I'm just going to right click and say refresh. And there you go. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? Well, I hope you learned something new in Power Query and that you can apply some of these techniques in your current situations. BA Sensei signing out.